Hi guys, it is Alisa from Loco King Robert Stan. Welcome to my channel. So um, I met Rose uh, at the Edmonton Carnival um, scrapbooking show. So Rose was interesting. How did I create this car? So that's why I created this video to share with you guys. I hope you like it. So before we get into today's video, I just uh, want to give you guys a heads up. So I usually launch the YouTube video every Wednesday at 2 o'clock Pacific time. But I'm going to take a break to create a YouTube video because I'm actually working on the 2024's new design. So um, a lot of you guys already know that I design every single stamps and every single die cut I'm selling um, online and at the show. So um, I I didn't have a new design for the past uh, two one years I think. We didn't really have new design. Oh, we have a one new set for my cruise, and then we didn't really have like a new design with the Daika. So I am thinking about to add some new background and the new combo set, and uh, I have uh, some new idea. And uh, once when I have uh, the layout, I will share with you guys. So once when I go to the designing mode, I really have to focus on that. And I know you guys understand. If I don't have any new video coming out don't worry about me i am actually working on something and then as soon as when i finish i will share with you guys so we have uh, our um, caribbean cruise and alaska cruise uh, schedule in 2024 and uh, those new design um anybody signed up for a cruise that uh, you will get those uh, design for free plus something else if you cannot join our cruise just make sure you sign out our newsletter or um or YouTube channel, I am going to offer some pretty good deal to the people who cannot join us on board. So all the information you need is on our website. Just make sure you check it out. Okay, so we have a one more show schedule in 2024 that will be stamping away in Cincinnati um, in August. So uh, I am actually teaching two classes. One is our magic mushroom, one is our ma uh, magic marker. The class is almost sold out. I still, for the um, magic marker, I think I only have uh, like a two spot left. So if you are in the area, um, basically the class is free because you will get uh, one set of uh, uh, butterfly cases and a set of uh, markers if you uh, participate partici participate the class and for the magic markers and uh, you will um, get a um, hands-on is a hands-on workshop so you will create a few cards to learn how to how to use the local kings of markers and uh, or stamp and daika so if you are not in the area you're not um, you are somewhere else i am going to offer the same thing and it's even better deal because uh, i am going to offer butterfly cases and markers and uh, i'm going to offer the free shipping the shipping is uh, cost almost like 20 dollars so basically we don't really have a profit for that but i know a lot of you guys cannot travel to the ohio just for the show right especially now the traveling is so expensive so i'm going to offer the same classes so after um, um you can just click the link you can purchase the kit and uh, i will send it to you and as soon as we come back from the Cincinnati, i think i will reschedule uh, i will schedule a time and uh, probably in early December, uh, September, and then we will have online workshops. So that way you have the marker, you have the stamp, and then you have the, all the paper that you need. And then we can have a Zoom um, gathering. And then so you can join us too. It's exactly like the in-person class. So they are two classes and the, I know the magic marker have a maybe a two spot left. And the, the magic uh, mushroom, I was wondering, because it's supposed to sold out by now because uh, you will get a whole set of magic mushroom plus a holding base and the plus the container if you sign out the class like i say the class is free and that you uh, will learn how to use the um, uh, wonderful magic mushroom to do the blending and it's funny because uh, i'm stamping away put uh, um um, I mean the post a uh, pay a uh, po uh, put a post on their website and a lot of people really think we're selling those kind of magic mushroom and then they leave the con like a comment so I have to keep deleting that. Come on guys, read the read it is the is the craft is blending tool is not the magic mushroom even though oh magic mushroom does make you high exciting and but it's a craft tool. 
Okay, so um, today's uh, um, the project is going to be so simple and uh, Rose, this is for you. I hope you like it. That's started. So the material is pretty simple. Simple, simple. We are going to just uh, use uh, the regular black cardstock, or you can use any like a darker color cardstock will work. And then I am using this morning glory stamp set. This stamp set I designed in 2012. That's 11 years ago. So this stamp set that comes with both the shadow stamp and the detail stamp. I did create a video to explain to you, uh, you guys what is the what to get to know about your stamp so here's the link if you like to know here is the um the video uh, make sure you check it out so you can see this stamp and this stamp is a totally different this one is the detail stamp this is a shadow stamp so detail stamp they have uh, the open area you have to color in and the shadow stamp you are just a color uh directly on your rubber stamp so today we're going to use the detail stamp and then also we're going to use the awards background. So this background is a 2007 I designed it is or like a first first design. Few of my first stamps still are very very popular background. <coughs> it just looks uh, nice with uh, everything um, you just put in the background. And then for the Cincinnati show do you guys for the stamping away you, you guys know the um, Nancy stamp Nancy and Tracy is going to helping us at the show. I have ne I think I met Nancy in person but uh, uh, we 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 never get to connect until um, she start her channel. So exciting to see Nancy and Tracy at the show plus the song of uh, or local kings the royal fan from everywhere. So if you are in the neighborhood and uh, just stop by to say hello and we have an awesome show special. Um, and we are offer something great on the Friday night. So just make sure you stop by and I'm so exciting to see all my vendor friends over there. Okay, so we are going to use uh, our morning glory and we are going to use this detail stamp. You can use the Versafine clear, 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 clear or the uh, Versa mark, but I just uh, like this uh, Versa fine because I think uh, they are much detailing than the Versa mark. So I am going to just use my sweepers to rubbing the surface, or if you have embossing buddies, you can use uh, your buddies. So let's do that. Okay, so we are going to just stamp. Let me just close. If you have any question, please send me an email or leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, sometime, um, I just think I'm running the show perfectly. I have no problem. But sometimes people leave a message. You say, oh, your, your zooming is too far. We cannot see. Yes, thank you for letting me know. So that way I will do the adjustment. Okay, so we're going to use this impact. And uh, I just found out this is a better impact. Very, very detailed. My favorite black impact. Okay, and then when I did my prototype, I put my Morning Glory in the center. And then when I want to put my sentiment, I kind of don't like on the bottom. I kind of want to put here. So this time I am going to st stamp a little bit away. Okay, I'm going to just stamping a, a little bit on the left bottom part. Okay, like this, and then I'm going to use embossing powder. The 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 one of the two that I really don't like it because I really don't like those powder go everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna just do the gold um detail embossing powders, and I'm going to just do that. Be very careful, making sure the powder don't go anywhere. See, now it's very, very detailed, right? And I'm going to just heat up. I know a lot of you guys already know what to do the embossing, so I'm going to just fast forward it. Okay, so that's uh, our gold embossing. And then before we do the coloring, I just found out my background here. Ooh, powder. Um, it's kind of empty, so that's uh, why I decide I want to get. Um, I want to add a little bit of uh, texture in the back. So same thing. I am going to use our words background stamp. I'm going to just uh, color a little bit here. 
on and this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna just uh, I only want this section here and then kind of just use my finger don't rub the whole things so kind of just rub a little bit around the, that corner okay you can kind of see the reflection there and then we're gonna do the embossing again no matter how I careful do my embossing is always go everywhere hmm but it's a gold embossing is one of the reason get me into the stamping car making Okay, so before I start the um, heat up, um, there's something I think you might need to know. So I actually put some background in the back. If you ask, if you um, have some printing on your flower, you are going to brush it off before you heat up. So that way we don't cover your flowers. Okay, so let's just put that away. I will be okay so that's uh, our basic car we are going to do the coloring i think uh, yep that's much better than to put the sentiment here well actually we come back from the cincinnati the stamping away show i'm actually going to copenhagen visit my sister-in-law yes that sister in that sister in law the sister in law i was uh, always teasing in my video so I'm going to just give this card to her and tell her um, I made it just for her. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to do the coloring, but I think it's pretty good too. So we're going to do the coloring. We are going to have some water here ready and what kind of paint did I use? For the, there is a two many different options and uh, you are going to use uh, that, the the, the the watercolor that is good on the dark black cardstock or um, there's a few I think I don't know how many of you guys know this is called the Twinkie H2O I have at least one probably over maybe 15 years I bought it from the heirloom PL up show before I started my business and then um, they are still pretty good. So I like to keep the lid open and when I need it, I just um, mix with uh, some water. So this one will do, but I don't have enough color. Or you can use uh, this, the mica powder. They are gray, uh, gray paint. And I think their color is really solid. The co cover coverage is much better than the one I'm going to using. So, but I don't know, uh, are they still available online? It's gray paint, I really like it. Uh, but if you don't have this one, the next option is I got the least set of paint from the Amazon. Okay, it's something like that. And then I don't remember how much I pay. I think probably $30 Canadian. It is okay, but uh, I think it, um, this is what I did with it. If you are happy, I think it's good. They will work well on the black cardstock. You cannot use a regular cardstock. The regular cardstock is transparency, so they will not showing on the black cardstock. So you need some special watercolor paint that will show on the black cardstock. So what's the name of this one? this one and I got it from Amazon so check it out I'm sure you can find something um, at a craft store okay or the mica powder mica color so same thing I have these probably 15 years and then this is what it's going to do you i um, just want to do a comparison to see what's different and if you need to purchase some okay so it just missed some water i need some darker green and they can be blending the color too this is a nice color and you can see 
they are still a lot. Even they like crack a little bit. That's okay. Just mix with water. Let's see what's the difference. I think that's enough. Okay, we're going to do some coloring. I'm going to do some comparison, but let me just do the some coloring first. And then we will do the comparison. Uh, what's different between the um, art crust and this one. Okay, so let me go a little bit closer here. So we have uh, a nice uh, paintbrush. And I'm going to do some orange color. Oh my god, my all my table is covered with embossing powder. I really don't like the texture of the embossing powder. Okay, so it's the only few morning glory and the few lips, so it's very easy. That's the oh this the coverage is much better than the one I got from the Amazon. So we do a little bit orange and I do a little bit red. But the, they are not really metallic. Okay. So they cover. So that's good. But I want the more metallic color. Okay. Let's try the purple. Let's try one purple. Yeah. They are good coverage. But they are not metallic. Even on the palette. They kind of look like metallic. But, but they definitely color well. Oh, but I think it's really, really pretty. Okay, so that's uh, for the color crest. Let's try this one. The coverage is uh, definitely better than this one. But this one is uh, more metallic. I think uh, maybe I didn't like uh, miss them long enough. Let's take a look. Yeah, see, this one you can see is uh, not really, it's kind of transparency. Okay, let's do a little bit more. Okay, and then you cannot add too much water because uh, if you add too much water, it will thinner the paint. You can blend it. Okay, so those are not the watercolor paint. You got to have a special paint for the black car star. So let's just do one more. This is the corner one. I mean the bottom one. So let's see. Let's pick up more paint. See if the coverage can go better. It's a, a little bit thin. It's kind of transparency, but they do have a more metallic uh, looking. So you decide what you like. Let me bring that a little bit closer to you. So these two are the uh, R crust mica color. These two is uh, the one I buy from the Ma um, Amazon. So which one you like better? Okay, and then here, and then when you color, because we have that embossing, gold embossing, right? You don't really have to worry about the, of the line because they actually kind of created some border line. I think it's really pretty. Okay, and then green, let's try the Mica Art Crafts palette. Okay, and then we're going to do this. The coverage is uh, definitely better than this uh, Paul, Paul Rob Burns. Okay, like this. Okay, and then let's do a little bit lighter one. We're supposed to start the lighter one first. Let's do one more here. Pretty. Hmm. Okay, and then now let's try this. Uh, clean your brush. Let's try a little bit lighter green. You can mix the, the color. Let's see. What's this one? 
This is a kind of coloring too. Oh, the green actually working pretty good. Maybe you should just uh, dip a little bit more. Okay, let's do this one. Or use what you have, but just remember you cannot use the regular watercolor because uh, they will not show on your black or darker color cardstock. So just mix with that. Let's use some lighter color to color. The color crust the paint, it definitely coverage is a much better. There's a, some part of a flower. But they are not the too metallic. But uh, they work well on the dark harsh that I think look too. And they have a brown. So the brown, let's just color this stain. Brown color. Some of them is metallic, some of them is not. And can you believe it? I designed this stamp in 2012. Feel like yesterday. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Voila! I think it looks so pretty. What do you think? Okay. That's the final card. So this one is a free download. If you guys have a digital diagram machine, you can download this PNG file, you can cut it, and just set your offset 0 0.05, and then you can have a layering. So this one, I didn't put a layering. I think that's uh, just good enough. I found that the white is a little bit too much, so I kind of just add a little bit of color with my brush. So this one, um, this is... Uh, the art crust color uh, mica color paint and then some part is uh, the one I found from Amazon I think it's okay the color is a uh, if you don't compare I think they are really good but if you compare is this one the coverage is better but maybe this one you just use a little bit thicker pen less water I think that will works too but these oranges really stand out what do you think okay so that's um everything for today and the rose i hope you watch this video and that uh, you like the idea and now you learn how to do it and then you can give it a try so for um for and for um and then oh sorry and then if you are in the cincinnati area you like to sign out my class and uh, there's two classes available i will put the link below and uh, i think the magic marker is going to sold out is going to sold out um, um, pretty soon if you are interested i'm hoping you can join us if you already have the stamp set you can um exchange to something else uh, that's okay just uh, after the class, come to the show floor and we can exchange something else with you. So that way you don't have to have like a duplicate item. For our marker in the our magic mushroom, um, it's good to have one extra set because once uh, when they are sold out, we are not restocking anymore. So that's everything for today. I am um, actually working on the 2024 new design. I have some awesome ideas. And uh, as soon as when I finish it, I will share with you guys the new design. If you are able to join us for our Caribbean and Alaska cruise in 2024, um, just uh, make sure you visit all our website. All the information is online. It's going to be so much fun on board. Okay, so that's everything for today. And uh, this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stamp. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye, guys.